Yeah, that like guy was saying it's for me. Let's just shut up. Man. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing right now I can't do is that throttle cable. The throttle cable, like I was showing y'all on the other ones, that it's hard to tighten up to stay on, to keep the bolt. On, uh, to keep the screw inside the groove and for the bolts to lock. It's not locking up tightly. I don't have that much room. I'm going to have to probably take out the tool, but also I don't have the proper tool that goes exactly on it also. So that was one of the problems that I've been having with putting on the, this carburetor. Now the only problem I'm having with putting it on, actually, putting it on is easy, but the only problem I'm having with putting on was with the throttle cable. As far as when it was on, it would work, it was revving just the way I wanted to rev. It was revving even faster than it did before. The 5000 RPM it was revving up to. So that was perfect. But for some mysterious reason, it would give us shit. It would shut off for a second. A couple of times. And for no reason. So I didn't understand why. So that was the only problem I had with this. Fuck. That was the only problem that I had with it. With this new carburetor that I just got. That was the only problem that I faced was when you when when you had it on, when you was revving sometimes, you had it on, for some reason it shut off. So I was figuring the reason why it was shutting off because I ain't had that tube the air filter tube to go into that part of the carburetor of the mouth. So I figured that's probably why it was shutting off once it, once I had no, this, on this new one, why it was shutting off. Now I finally got the tube on. I'm hoping now it won't shut off at all once it's on. It's just revving perfectly and there's no more problems. And the only thing I would have to do now is get somebody who could tighten up this throttle cable so when I'm throttling on it the throttle cable here so when I'm throttling it the wire doesn't come off the groove when I'm revving it hard it don't come off the groove <coughs> that's not what it's supposed to do it's supposed to stay on this groove you know what I mean it's supposed to rev on this groove the whole wire is supposed to be on the groove now, another thing also I'm not going to front I don't know if it's supposed to be in the first one or the second one so let me show JR that too I put it over here on the first one not on the second one here I didn't put it on this one I put it on this one. So that's another thing. I don't know if that's correct, but I think that's correct. I didn't put it on. I put it on this one, but not on this one. And like I said, the only problem I'm having is this um, bolt staying on to here with these screws. I don't know if I can get a washer over this wire to put a washer here. And maybe that'll be it, but I gotta get somebody who can tighten it for me also. So that's the only problem I have with it putting it on and off as far as the carburetor. And like I said, when I had it on, the only problem it was shutting off for a second, but I I put that to the problem it was shutting off so that I had the tool on the carburetor. And I was hoping it's something maybe as simple as that. I'm like, maybe that's what it is. Because it was revving, and actually it was revving higher RPMs than it was on the old one. And it was revving good. I had no problem with the revving part. And I had no part, no problems with the throttling part. I never had no problem with that holding the throttle, holding it in gear. When I say holding the throttle, I mean holding it in gear. Keeping your hand steady, but steadily moving in gear, and the RPM is steadily going up. But you're not really going woo, woo, woo with your hands. You're just keeping it steady, but the gears is going up. That's what I mean by, I mean, the RPMs is going up. That's what I mean by my throttling thing. Other people, I don't know when they say throttle, do they mean revving? I don't, when I'm saying that, <coughs> throttle, I don't mean revving. Like I'm revving it up. Woo, woo, woo. No, that's what I call revving. When I mean throttle, I mean this hole on this straight and, and the RPMs are going up. But that was no problem.
And like I said, this is what actually when you holding, you turning this here. See? That's this. You see? So that's the. That's how that is up there. So when you're throttling this, actually inside is that. And that's the, 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 the cable wire to it. And these two nuts are supposed to keep, supposed to stay in this groove here without moving. So you can always have throttle. And that's the problem. Mine is not staying on correctly. 100% and I don't have a tool to tighten it properly and even when I am trying to tighten it with the tool that I have it's not tightening properly. I think I'm going to have to have one screw, one wrench hole in this part and one wrench trying to tighten it. So if I go somewhere I'll hold that part for the person and they can tighten the other part and I don't know if I can even slip a washer over the rubber part that's on here. So if you, JR, White, Earl, anyone, yeah, you think I can slip a wire do the um, the wire, I mean, slip a washer through the wire and get it over this plastic piece and still go ahead. Let me know also. Alright. Now I'm going to try to start it up again. And like I said, um, YouTube got me on punishment, so I got to be watching out. I only can make 10 minute videos. So if you only can make 10 minute videos, that's because YouTube has suspended you one time or the other. That's what I found out. Time. So what I think was nonsense. But hey, that's neither there. That's either. That's neither here or there. I'm just trying to start it up. Now I put the gas back in this carburetor, like on the tip of the cap. So once I start having everything running, I'm gonna might change my fuel pump if I still always having this problem all the time. Once I know that everything's riding right and I'm riding around, you know what I'm saying? When I do my test run, I know it's riding properly. Man, if it's still having a hard time in the morning starting up, it's going to spark plugs are next with the fuel pump and a fuel filter, and that'll be it. So I've got. And I'm putting performance parts on them. I bought me um, a new exhaust, and it comes with an oil catch and a filter. So, with the regular performance filter, I don't know if you have to change the, the, the re, you know, reject the car. I don't know, but I wasn't going to do it. I didn't see it on this other person thing. But I think with the exhaust, when you put the muffler on, you are going to have to reject it. So, I'm going to have to learn what's in it. I wrote to the person I bought it from what jet was in it, and so I can know what to get higher. <laughs> but a lot of people have this problem, even when their bike is running good. Which is not starting up, cold start, or whatever they call it. And to tell you the truth, I got some. Got some C4. I bought some C4 for it too, but I don't got a whole tank, but I'm going to pour something in there. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut this off and go get the C4. All right.